Hello, I'm Lori Henrote, and our daughter Carly, now a teenager, was diagnosed with fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva when she was five and a half years old. FOP is one of the rarest and most disabling genetic conditions known to medicine, causing bone to form in muscles, tendons, ligaments, and other connective tissues. Bridges of extra bone develop across the joints, progressively restricting movement and forming a second skeleton that imprisons the body in bone. There are not any other known examples in medicine where one normal organ turns into another. FOP is progressive, with most confined to a wheelchair by their third decade of life, causing them to require lifelong assistance in performing activities of daily living. FOP has been and continues to be a very difficult journey and certainly a trip we would not have chosen to make. But thankfully, we are not traveling alone. Yet even with all the uncertainty and the many roadblocks, we can still say we are lucky. Some may wonder, how on earth can you feel lucky? Well, we feel lucky in many ways. Thankfully, although we're in the minority, we are one of the few that didn't suffer through misdiagnosis. We're blessed to have a happy child we can communicate with. We are lucky to have our FOP family, the moms, the dads, the extended families, and most importantly, those with FOP to share and learn from, to help each other as we climb this mountain together in search of a cure. 75% of the funding for the lab comes from family fundraising, endowments, and donations, with a balance coming from the National Institutes of Health and other institutional grants. Significant endowments established at the University of Pennsylvania anchor the research effort, including the Isaac and Rose Nassau Professorship of Orthopedic Molecular Medicine, the Ian L. Kelly FOP Research Fund, and the Whitney Weldon FOP Research Fund. The lab has also consistently received funding from the National Institutes of Health. We're in a very troubling time economically. However, I believe now more than ever, the FOP community needs to continue their efforts to raise money and awareness of FOP. We need to end misdiagnosis and help with the FOP collaborative research projects taking place around the globe. We are truly an international network with FOP family organizations in Australia, Brazil, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, Peru, Scandinavia, the Netherlands, the Republic of China, the United Kingdom, and the United States. We continue to grow, helping build the FOP community and FOP awareness on a global scale.